Hello, clown da. Dwi'n falch iawn o gael dod yno a diwedd pedwar dwrnod arbennig o drafod. A mwna llawer iawn wedi codi pnawma falla sydd angen neu drafod hefyd yn y sgwrs yma. Wedyn, um, felly sy'n mynd i mlaen, ac beth dwi'n gobeithio wneud ydy edrych a gofyn i Gerald ac i Colin i um, falla ed, feddwl am yr uchel bwyntiau a'r gwersi maen nhw'n teimlo sydd wedi dod atyn ni o'r gynhadledd beth wedi glywod amdani nhw yn y gynhadledd ac um, hefyd wedi hynny edrych, wel, beth ni angen cario mlaen i feddwl amdani nhw yn ystod y flwyddyn sy'n dod. Um, Ond cyn i'n ei wneud hynny, fysyn ni yn licio i chi i gyd ddeffro rwan ac yn rhan mewn uh, pob bach syml um, sydd yn mynd i ddod ar y sgrin i chi cyn bo hir a mi fydd hefyd yr cod yn yr chat i chi nodi hwn. Felly gofyn i chi um, dweud yn y pol beth, yw, beth oedd neu beth yw uchel bwynt i'r gwersi rydych yn ei cofio o'r gynhadledd eleni a beth yw'r gwersi fyddech sef, dyma beth ydych chi'n cofio o eleni, beth yw'r uchel bwyntiau fyddech chi yn gwneud eleni. A wedyn, fyddan ni'n trafod hyn, wedyn nhw'n colin ar Gerald hefyd, felly sy'n pawb yn rhoed i atebion i mewn trwy'r cod fyddech chi'n gweld yn y munud mae ar dop yfan hyn, felly mae eisiau defnyddio menti.com ar eich ffôn neu ar y uh, tab arall, a groed y cod 824416 a fyddwch chi gyfla wedyn i roed y geiriau i mewn. A mae'n groes i chi roed mwy nag un ateb, mi'n trwy'r broses mwy nag un gwaith. Mi ddylai ni fod ni medru gweld wedyn yr atebion sydd gen ni, 48 o hynny dal yma um, sydd y wych ar yr menti yma. I roi drwy'r syniad i ni o be yma pobl wedi cofio yn ystod yr cyfarfod yma. A dwi'n mynd i ddeud gormo lle bo fi'n arwain y drafodaeth oherwydd mi fydd hwn yn helpu ni i fwydo mewn i'r gwerthusiad fydd yn digwydd wedyn ar ôl y gynhadledd. Y da ni'n cael cwpl o um, adborth yma'n hyn yr er Ambition to grow 75% of Welsh, vegetable consumption, power of procurement. I feel like I should sing that, but I won't. 75% by 35, uh, 75 by 35, so increase 75% of vegetable outputs by 2035, if I remember correctly. That we are working together on this. Hot beds of ideas, so massive amounts of information ideas, some of them being challenged, others being allowed to pass through for today. But this discussion will continue after this event, as uh, Stephen has just noted. So we've had about 16 people being able to reply here and working together. <laughs> Eavesdropping on conversations between sessions was the highlights for somebody. I won't, I'm, I'm not sure if we're able to actually find out who that was, but it'd be interesting to find out. And that there are so many of us working towards um, the same goal. Right, so that's the sort of thing that I think this shared learning um, and that we have such a wide range of ideas and thinkings coming towards and information coming to us. Um, so the next one that we'll be going on to is the next question. The last one is only two that we've put in. Path am I that he would be better got that he seemed not to be better got or hackle in Eleni? Or so is I. I'm so snat to sit to pop team and now the PDR writing bit. What themes have been missed in this year's conference, if any at all, for us to be able to plan? Uh, to fill some of those gaps over the next year and at next year's conference. Well, I think it's hina, a bit of a son of a mat of the Nicol, um, Kumu Giria and Dotashan, uh, and so on. Um, my bro, Chris, I don't in Rui. Gambon, you can have led the ethok, see the cave or cave ethok yawn or hair with Ram Rui, a second any, uh, and her can have led my and the Kanishitwa and the Sharatwir. 
cyd bwysig gwych. Dim ond un person ar hyn o byd sydd, a ma'n i, dyma fwy yn dod trodd. Te a coffee am ddim a ie, ar ferchor. Ar angen i wyta llai o gig. Ar goll, falla bo'n eisio, pwys leisio hyn i mewn yn un, mewn sesiwn falla, ar diet fwyd nesaf falla. Uh, bod ni angen yn union, dyn ni gyd y methu cyfle i gael sgwrs efo yn gilydd um, ar ôl a crhwng y, y siaradwyr, dyna lle mae'r rhan fwyar petha da yn digwydd, a'r digwydd, a'r dysgu gora yn aml. Cyd bwysedd gwych, sy'n ddiach biochar. Felly, petha i'w roedd yn yr hester pan ddyn ni'n trafod ac yn galw am gynigion um, ar gyfer y rhaglen. Saith y fobl allan o'r 46 wedi cymryd rhan. Ar prif i un, oherwydd bod maint yn dangos, faint y fobl sydd wedi dweud y pwynt yna, y pwysles ar fwyta llai o gig. Ac ar gig gwell, falla, sydd wedi cael ei fachu mewn ffyrdd mwy amaith am gwlcheddol gyfeillgar, ond hefyd mewn ffordd llysol um, y styrlon. Oh, music, yeah, an union. Now, if you please, Bonnie, I can see your high border, Gavla, Egaler, Kumgithasima, a Bodni Natila Tihuno, Ivan, you can hardly be Nessa, get a cop by through schools and Bodni and Metric of Arvot, and a ring of Vot with the Nessa. Perslanai, did a row day. Ie, wel, dwi siŵr ychwch chi gael eu mlaen eit hyn ystach chi'n dymuno, os ydych chi'n um, cofio ac yn meddwl am beth achwn eich gol mae'n gyfle eich chi roed mwy mewn, mewn niadal yn gorau tan diwedd uh, y prawn yma. Rebecca, ydych chi'n imposib, ie? Ja? Felly, um, mi fydd hwn i gyd yn gweithio eu mewn. Felly, just i fynd yn ôl, um, i'r un rhaglen, i'r un cynt, y slaid cynt, yn gwneud na be mae pobl yn gweld fel i gwersi ar eich elbwyntia, Falla bod ni jyst yn gweld y pwyntiau yma sy'n cael eu codi ynglyn ag cynyddu faint o llysiau sy'n cael eu dyfu pwysigrwydd caffael cyhoeddus a bod ni'n rhannu i gynllunio gyda'n gilydd. So ni'n cofio tri peth yna atlas dan ni'n dynol rhan at y sgwrs efo Colin ag Geralt. Felly, ni'n dynol at Colin. Colin a dwi'n ddiofyn felly i gynta i uh, Gerald i ddweud be mae o yn gofio a be fydda fo licio tynnu sylw at yn ystod y gynadledd yma. Sgwylwch yn dda, Gerald. And then we move on to Colin for his... Uh, Colin will say a few words after... Oh, quite a few words, probably, because there's a lot I think he, he should say after <laughs> afternoon's discussion. But we'll start off with Gerald, who's from the Caerhys... I don't think he needs an introduction, but I better do it properly. Gerald Miles from the Caerhys uh, Organic Community Agriculture down in Sir Benfro. And um, I will look forward to meeting him sometime uh, in yeah. on the farm. Right, dros oedd chi, Gerald. Ad diolch yn fawr. Um, I fi, a dwi, gysta fi wedi dwi'n wedi ffeindio'r dyrnodau dweitha yma yn arbennig unigol. Noi ni'n meddwl bysau mor dda a, a me wedi troi mas. Dwi'n... Oen ni ddim yn drochyd mlaen i'r peth agos sain lico drochyd ar sgrin a nabod chi a ffili dylach llaw chi neu gweld eich lygau chi. A hyn ni, dwi'n meddwl, mae'r pandemig ma wedi creu me wedi tynnu ni, well, tynnu ni o'i gili. And that's the main thing I find difficult with. But this conference is, I must say, it, it's a compliment to you all who've created this. I never expected it to be this, this great, to be honest. And that uh, the all the aspects that you've covered has been really immense. And I've actually, I've learned a heck of a lot by listening to people over the weekend. 
over the week. It's been there's some sessions I must I I must have missed, but you know what sticks out in my mind is that the importance of us as farmers and growers in supplying food and food is for whales is we could really feed ourselves and it, this is so important and from the health aspect of we had one session where uh, was it Dr. Bell was talking about health she believes in uh, what you eat and the way you uh, have your life and re-endorses me as a farmer as an organic farmer but I think we this is the opportunity we've got to we've just we're in a pandemic and if we don't learn by that and make changes then we don't deserve to survive that's a bit strong I know but um there's so many things we could do and change. We've left our industry, the farming industry, be affected, taken over by globalization and supermarkets and create carbon from one thing to the other. And then again, we can do, we can create much better by creating cooperatives and create supporting communities. Because one of the main things we found on our farm is creating a CSA on our farm has been the heart of this farm and really has been the impact to give this farm a, a well being and to us a well being. And through this pandemic, we're lucky to live where we are as us here as a community nearly all my family live on the farm and we're lucky to be in this area but no the the conference from one thing to the other was was immense and really i'm um i've had a lot of ideas from it like uh one alex was saying this uh today about bringing schools community farms together i think that's one thing i will try to do because to bring it into education as well so that our next generation growing up and knowing where their food is coming from and being they should adopt a farm every school should adopt a farm to really have it as part to have food from it and to see where they and know the farmer because being a farmer is a tough job we all know that but this is all part of it who grows your food going back to respect and, and finding where it's from but no it's I really think I have really, I never thought it would be this, this good. And I myself, I will end by saying that my body and bless her, I have it, my agor he get in, I medal, he beth echt in in aid. I find more buisig money geed igili e bobini oinani i it's highlighted the effect of the importance of that we must support each other and try to create this to make change and we can only do that by working together and this conference has impacted that of the importance from organic to okay carbon emissions but as well, I hope through this that will create more communities, more CSAs, more growing of vegetables in Wales and create Wales organic. Come on, it's green to start off. Let's make it greener. 
Diolch y fawr. Diolch y fawr iawn, diolch gan awr, diolch. Mae pawb yr oed. I chi ar y, ar y chat, felly, yn un. Um, diolch y fawr iawn, gweld y digaeth da a gymateb gwych um, fel arfer i'r, i'r, i'r holl cynadledd. Um, mi gawson i'r her yn un o'r sesiynau yn bod ni'n bryddwydio am y dyfodol ac meddwl a'i bryddwyd o 75% hyd erbyn 2035 oedden ni'n yn teimlo dylo bod ni'n anelu ato fo yn y trech na 50% neu 20% o lysiau mwy yng Nghymru. A dwi'n siŵr felly fysach chi'n cytuno bod na le i ni dyfu mwy o lysiau ar y tir sydd gynnyn ni yng Nghymru. Ac falle yn ôl eich patrwm chi i gynnyrchu nhw yn organig hefyd ac bwna thebyg ar y ffermydd ma sydd yn cynnal teulu ac yn cynnal cymuned. Fel nath yn ei glywed bora yma gen rhai o'r merched oedd yn trafod yn y sesiwn gwerth bwyd Cymraeg. Um, Colin, over to you to talk about the uh, enlightened agriculture. You talked to us a bit about it last night. Um, and I'm just, just like your reflections on what you've heard today about how enlightened what you've heard today is in terms of how it's advising our future agriculture in Wales. Um, and then perhaps if you have had a chance to reflect back, what is your perhaps the highlight of the conference to you that you've, you've been able to join us? Because people have been coming and going over the last four four days, but we've had a really good number, really at least 30 to 40 in more sessions. And what has surprised me is going to many conferences is that is a discipline and the focus and the attention that our audience is also being giving uh, the commitments there is in the, the audience that we're having all through these four days. You can see it in the chat. You can see it when we can start promptly. Um, and that's really been made it much easier for the whole process to move along smoothly. And Steve, I can see from up there as our host, our techie boss is, is really happy about that. The discipline, I think we need to congratulate uh, um, ourselves, yourselves on this amount of commitment to real food and farming for Wales. Now, Colin, over to you for some further enlightenment. Right, good. I just want to say, first of all, it's an honour to be invited to speak at this conference and to share a, a platform effectively with Gerald. Gerald's one of my um, farming heroes. I've got about four or five, and Gerald is certainly one of them. One of the things that strikes me, well, first of all, about the future. I've just written a bit of plug here. I've just written this book called The Great... Re I'll hold it up again called The Great Rethink. And the point of it is that if we're going to get out of our dreadful problems that we're in, first of all, agriculture is right at the center. We must get that right. And it's the thing that governments effectively neglect. I mean, in this country, for the last 20, 30 years, 40 years, they've regarded agriculture just as a business like any other. Uh, and they've redefined business as simply as a, a way of making lots of money, which farming doesn't do very well. So it's largely been sidelined, and it still is. We've had a succession of uh, secretaries of state who don't know anything about agriculture and don't really care about it and make the most ridiculous comments about it. And that is a terrible thing. And it seems to me, the second thing I want to say, is that and what this book is about is that if we're going to solve the world's problems which include all of our problems then we have to be radical radical in the proper sense radical doesn't mean that you go around carrying a bomb and blow things up radical means that you've got to get down to the roots and very few discussions that i've heard about agriculture in particular or about anything actually but in particular i think agriculture really get down to the roots of things and we've got to rethink the whole thing from first principles. The first principles really have to do, first of all, with how you actually farm. And organic farming, which Gerald is stressing, is very much a part of agroecology. I haven't heard the word agroecology today. Perhaps it topped up much uh, earlier. People talk about regenerative agriculture these days. I think the term ag agroecology is, is, is preferable for various reasons. But the second thing is that you have to get um, the second great principle that we need is that of food sovereignty. 
and the food sovereignty says that every society should have control over its own food supply. And one of the great strengths of a conference like this is that it represents, uh, I think it represents a, a, a grassroots movement on a quite a large scale. It didn't exist three years ago after all, and now it's happening. And the Oxford Real Farming Conference is happening and the Northern version is happening. And the Scottish one is beginning to happen. And this is all part of the great global cooperative, to use Gerald's word, uprising of people at large and farmers in particular in actually reclaiming agriculture for what it is. I see agri uh, agroecology as being a, a key issue. And within that, to just to talk about what's come up today, grass is of key importance. I mean, grass really does grow rather well and we don't, we've made bad use of it and we must make much, much better use of it. Meat, of course, is absolutely crucial. One thing you see with meat is the conflict between on the one hand, the desire to make lots and lots of money, which farmers are now obliged to do because we live in this economy, which is all about maximizing profit and competing for profit. But the second thing is the need to provide good food and to look after the biosphere and the living world. And the fact of the matter is that if you really want to provide a good diet for everybody, then actually a low meat diet is preferable to a very high meat diet. There's lots and loads of evidence across that, across the board. Not a zero meat diet, but a low meat diet. And that's also very compatible with principles of agroecology, where you're trying, as somebody said today, to effectively emulate nature, or at least to emulate the best features of nature, because nature at its best is very sustainable and very resilient. So you just have to emulate what it, do emulate what it does. The last thing I'll put, point I want to make, I was listening today to the various discussions on uh, food and, and cooking and all that kind of stuff. As I see it, together with farming, cooking is absolutely crucial to the future of the world. And one of the great um, serendipities is that there is a perfect one-to-one -one correspondence between agroecology uh, or mechanic farming, which produces uh, agroecology, farming that's actually designed to produce good food and look after the, uh, the, the biosphere, sound nutrition, and the best cooking in the world. Because they all, uh, if you go down the agroecological route, you find yourself producing plenty of plants because you're focused on arable and uh, horticulture not much meat because you're only using animals as a supplement or a complement to the uh, plant production, crop production, and maximum variety because the, the, the farms of the future should be as mixed as possible and make as much use as possible of what grows locally. And if you look at all that, that's exactly what the nutritionists have been saying for the last 40 years, plenty of plants, not much meat and maximum variety summarizes the whole thing in nine words. And if you look at the world's greatest cuisines on an axis from Italy to China, they all follow those rules exactly. So it's a perfect correspondence between good farming, sound nutrition, and the best possible cooking. All we've got to do is, re well, well, not all we've got to do, but we should start by relearning how to cook. That's the first thing. And then, of course, you've got to re redesign the economy because at the moment people can't afford good food mainly not because good food is dear but because there is such a massive discrepancy between the people who are very rich and the people who are very poor and if we had a proper economy we'd have nobody that was so rich that they can just sort of do what they like but we'd have nobody that was so poor that they couldn't afford food we've got to rethink the economy that's what I mean really by, by being radical that's the kind of theme themes that I would like to follow in the future. You're on mute, Aviana. I'm on mute. I'm I'm not I'm not yes. Meddle I'm gonna come like I'm enlightened. Do you mean sure you're on a sprutaletic? Gary come like I'm enlightened than in team lab on in and that a driven and was up on the bot wrong well but on Rupath um you thatly. But she Kiria Kidaro Natuvanak can call in uh and so on um 
beth am ei oedi pigo allan a sut mae o'n gweld sut mae trafodaeth yn ffitio'r syniadaeth mae oedi roed yn ei lyfra y llyfra hanesyddol a llyfr newydd sydd gynnwyd o'n dod allan rhywun. Um, mae llaw sy'n i'n jyst yn licio codi gan bob i fan hyn, cyn i'n edrych ar beth sy'n cael ei ddweud yn y sgwrs. Bo'n i'n edrych ar yr... Ar yr Mi'n add cael ein gorffan yma yna yn sôn ond am arian ac cyfoeth ac yn y blaen ac am tegwch. A fos ni yn licio jyst i ni ystyriach ydy bach am uh, y system bwer o fewn yr penderfyniadau yma sy'n cael ei wneud hefyd. Um, da ni'n sôn am rad, bod yn radical, da ni'n hefyd eisiau sôn am bod yn, de, yn deg ac eisiau meddwl lle mae'r penderfyniadau yn cael ei wneud ac ar ran pwy maen nhw'n cael ei gwneud yeah. ac bod y penderfyniadau Wedi bod yn hanesyddol yn cael eu gwneud er mwyn lles cyfalaf preifets um, ac wedi oherwydd hynny wedi i ryw'r addau gwanio rhai'n cymuned a gwledig ni. Uh, lle dydy'r lle dydy'r llysia falla ddim yn cael eu, eu cyfrannu gymaint i fewn y drafodaeth. Uh, a falla bod ni'n edrych ar ffarmio sydd he, nid yn y gystal yn deg i'r amgylchedd ond yn deg i'r cymunedau um, gwledig a bod ni'n edrych ar, sy'n so ni'n sôn am bethau fel offset o carbon, da ni wedi clywo ap nawr yma pa, pa gymaint y botensiol sy'n cael ei, ei weld yng Nghymru ac yr ardaloedd yn yr Alban ac yeah. yn ardaloedd ymylol a draws Brydain i bod ni uh, cnydau sydd yn clymu uh, carbon i fyny. Um, a bod nhw'n gyfleo nawr yn yr ardaloedd yna i carbon cael ei offset o sydd yn bwysig iawn, tra mewn rhai sectorau lle mae yn anodd ach, neu'n anos, i fod mwy gywir, i, um, i ddod â y newidiadau lle hai a gostwn carbon, bod o'n haws roed brofset ac bod rhai cymunedau a'r rhai sectorau ar diwydiant yn mynd i um, addasu'n sylweddol um, oherwydd hynny. Tra mae rhai sectorau eri lle medru cael eu mlaen busnes as usual yn hytrach bod ni'n gweld ar lle hai carbon a draws uh, yn economi yn gyfan gwbl fel bysa cyfeillion yn cat yn dymun o gweld. Dydyw, Sir O'Cap yn Britain nhw ddim jyst yn sôn am amaith a bwyd, mi'n sôn am dam yr economi gyflon. Um, felly, darn syml iawn ydy roed y darn yn ar jigson i le, ond mae eisiau edrych ar beth sy'n digwydd os ydyn ni'n gadael i gweddu llyr economi fynd yn ei flaen, gan gynnwys rhai rhannau o'r system ffermio cynnwch chi bwyd sydd yn ddiwydiannol a sydd yn wastraffus a sydd yn sylweddol o anheg i'r pobl ac ar y nifiliad ac i'r tir, maen nhw'n dibynnu arno fo. Felly, jyst gofyn ni'n edrych ar y tegwch, persbectif tegwch yma, a bod ni'n edrych fel mae Colin wedi byd gofyn ni ar um, perchnogaeth tir a sofraniaeth tir a sofraniaeth bwyd. Um, a be ydy'r oblygiadau i Gymru, lle da ni'n sôn ar newyddion a draws Prydain, mae'r Trussell Trust wedi dweud heddiw mae'r newyddion, bod na 2,600 o Prydain wedi roed allan gyda nhw yn ddiweddar mewn cyfnobur. Trian o'r banciau bwyd ydy'r Trussell Trust yn gyffredinol yn ôl yn ymchwil ni yng Nghymru. Mae'n addwy dan o dair o fanciau anibynnol eraill sydd hefyd yn roed cymorth i bobl mewn creisys. Falle mae rhai bobl yn dweud bod y creisys na'n cael ei greu oherwydd bod y banciau yna, ond mae'r angen dros y bwyd yn sicr yna be bynnag ffordd mae bobl yn, yn gorfod wedi chwilio amdano fo. A fysa rhan fe bobl yn dymuno cael bwyd iachach um, yn eu cymunedau hunan mewn prydau sy'n cael eu rhannu yn hydrych yn cael eu roed mewn bagiau plastig i ddim mewn tyniau. Felly, jyst edrych ar y syniad mae da ni wedi clywo dwi allai bod ddim dyfodol cynnyrch chi bwyd sy'n mynd i fod i Gymru. Mae yna lot o ffermwyr a cymunedau fysa ddim yn hapus o boen i am hynny. Ac yn gynnwys y sector twristiaeth ac y sector busnesau sy'n ymwneud ag astronomi yng Nghymru heb sôn am y ffermwyr ar busnesau um, sefyll ysia. Felly mae'n drafodaeth enfawr i'w gael ymhellach yma yna, a bod ni ddim yn gadael i'r penderfyniadau yna ddigwydd, da ni wedi clywad sgwrs yn dweud bod Cymru a Llywodraeth Cymru yn rhedeg tu ôl i Lloegr ar bolisi. Uh, Mae o'n gynnu, o'n i'n syn, gael si syndod pan glywys i hynny, uh, o'n wrth gwrs da ni gyd yn dwad am perspectives yn hunan i fewn i'r drafodaeth, a bod rhaid ni gofio bob amser bod ni ddim yn trafod allan mewn ffordd democratiaeth yr an pawb. Felly... Um, Bod ni, chi, mae gynnwy ni chi destun yr uh, targedau llesiant yng Nghymru, a da ni angen cofio am hynny am y llesiant yn ymwneud â defnydd tir yn ogystal â uh, prydau ar y bwrdd i, I deuluoedd. Felly, sori, digon fi yn ôl i'r sgwrs Rhwn Gerald ac Colin. About the future for Wales' farming. 
we heard two or three different ways of seeing things during today even, um, which is interesting. So, so I like to say that I'm going to go to the next level, and I'm going to go to the next level, and I'm going to go to the next level, and I'm going to go to the next level. Can you show me the next level? Yes, I'm going to go to college to say something about it. Do, do we do we mean to say that we would describe that the pandemic is going to be local, and we're going to be local, a organic inconvenient. I goes do we would do that to my work dig sixty or daily or then call um chisia organic with on e bobothnos and do we would the agor if he bleman in classier bleman and classier veg doing worthy half cows local doing worthy say dear doing worthy meal sauerkraut, piscod, wie, um, juice, doing trial, carnoi gumint or pithech local, a echlai, so pam man on dwa di burn e pigoi chrisielan man o gelled cael e nai gyd. A du meddwl na, dwi du mor rhywbeth bach, ond echlan ni neud un dros Cymru gyd. A wedyn, Sim i she dyn ell dyn troi gewn ar supermarkets. Sim i she compito dyna, ellwch chi creu i farged i unen un local i unen. Os ella i wneud wech deg o diliodd, mae'n ddiliwch bys ei ni dros Cymru gyd. Ella ni cloi y mewn i unen. A dwi'n gwerthu cig hefyd. Uh, Cig Alec, Alex Heffron, dwi'n mynd i holi a maen nhw'n gyfleu sydd yn y bwrni fe fyn ein. Ond dwi'n meddwl local yw'r a, ni sydd at wneud ni. Ond hefyd, maen nhw'n beio ni wel ffermwyr am carbon, i'r carbon business ma, ond sy'n mi'n ein, ein ar dodi fis ar supermarkets, ffaint mor bell maen nhw'n mynd a cig, Find more bell manomind a bistach or farm, e abatwa a wedin de nolager supermarkets. Find of food miles yarne. So, nan vardi. Yeah, well, but she, we met all in. Do we know we can't not go far, but we end what that's serving, what's serving the petwar. Sorry. My broken yelling to sell away, but there are certain men more certain. There's lots of things to thank to be thankful about for this conference, and I'm got, not even going to start saying what I've said a little bit about discipline and about the audience commitment. It's been fantastic. Yeah. The speakers have all been wonderful. And over to Jane. Okay, I think I'll do this in English. Um, yes, where to start? Um, I think I think gratitude is re it's a really good practice, actually, to stop every now and then and be grateful for all the, the good things that are going on, given that there's so much that isn't good. Um, and we tend to sort of skip over the things that are good as if they, well, they were going to happen anyway. So let's just take a bite. Let's spend this last five minutes just um, breathing in all the gratitude for the last four days because it's, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, Stephen and I have been working on the production team and we keep tweeting, we keep sort of WhatsApping each other saying, isn't this great? Isn't it going well? And, um, and that's down to everybody who's, who's, who, you know, who's really contributed. And it's obviously I've got a, the obvious people to thank, but actually just everybody who has come and who has sat on a Zoom call, which can be quite hard work. We you know some of us have had much too much of it, and we, but you've all sat there, some of you for almost every session. And that means such a lot to have people really committed and taking part and um, posting in the comments, posting in the chat. It's almost been 100 percent on message and positive and constructive and supportive to us, the organisers who, you know, we, we don't do this all the time, Stephen and I. Um, this has been quite a, a baptism of electronics. Um, so I also also have the formal the formal thank yous to go through. Um, I want to give a thank you, obviously, to our sponsors, the um, who, without whom we couldn't have done this. And it was a few, especially a few sponsors coming in early and saying, yes, we, we're gonna back this conference. 
that actually made the difference between us doing it and not doing it. So thank you to the, Na the Nature Friendly Farming Network, the Soil Association, Organic Farmers and Growers, um, Garden Organic, Habiki Cymru, the Land Workers Alliance Cymru, and the whole and whole health agriculture. You have really, you've been stars, all of you. Um, and also thank you to everybody who bought a ticket. We had a we had a sort of system of supporter tickets, standard tickets, and, and concessionary tickets. So everybody who bought a supporter ticket when they didn't have to, we really appreciate it. And all the speakers who waived their complimentary tickets and bought one anyway, we really appreciated that. Um, but anybody who who yeah, all of you. Um, then I'd like to thank oh the supporting supporting organisations. The event this conference is is an independent event. Um, and it's come, it's come about because a group of us have come together. At this point, maybe I should, a special thank you to, to Ruth and Colin, uh, the founders of the Oxford Real Farming Conference, who have been the inspiration, because I used to go to that. Well, a lot of us have been to that, haven't we? Um, I must have been to about 10 of those by now. And um, that's where the idea for this conference came from. It was, can we take some of the inspiration of that to Wales? So Ruth and Colin from the, from the Real Farming Trust, um, and also, where's my list of supporters? I did write it out. Um, yes, Aberystwyth University, IBAS, Bangor University, Sustainable F uh, Farming Trust, Sustainable Food Trust. I can never, I'm sorry, I can never remember what if it's food or farming. Anyway, Sustainable Food and Farming Trust, uh, the Real Farming Trust, Canada Consulting, Purposeful Permaculture, um, the Wales Food Manifesto. And then I'd like to thank all the, well, the keynote speakers, our, our five excellent keynote speakers, our session organizers. We had 31 sessions, I think, one of which was a people's assembly, which was a whole thing all in its own right. Um, and then the 30 sessions, each of those had an organizer, a chair, a moderator, several speakers, and a lot of agonizing and preparation went into that. And they were all superb. They were just great. Um, we also had videos. I mean, I didn't get a chance to watch them in the afternoons because I was going for an art to get a bit of fresh air, but they are, there's a series of gardening videos up on our website. We've also got links to uh, recipes. We, we put a recipe up for each day. I don't know if anyone managed to do, cook the recipes. I might do it next week when I got a bit less, a bit less. And then you can hear. Um, and um, yeah, and then we have the production team. That Well, that was Stephen and me. We also had a bit of help from a few other people, and we we all had a lot of fun. We felt like we were running a radio station at times, uh, or you know, hosting chat show after chat show. And um, next time we do it, we're going to add in. There's going to be a bit of music and jingles. You know, it's going to be radio conference, and, and there'll, be, there'll be an irritating jingle that you 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 really gets on your nerves. Um, and the office staff, Jane Ricketts Hine, who has been on the email, and she's been updating the website and taking such care over all those details. So, um, oh, somebody's been into, into the waiting room. Uh, I've probably left people out. Um, I'm sure I have. Um, anyway, a, a really big thank you to everybody. Um, and yeah, we hope, Aviana, did you, I don't know if you wanted to say anything about next year, Aviana, we, we, we're gonna be back in 2021. It may not, oh, I forgot to, but also forgot to thank Helen, the translator, who is superb. I listened in once or twice and she was really going at it. Um, I don't know, Aviana, if you want to say anything about next year before we sing the national anthem. <laughs> Joke. No, well, we could. Do, no, we won't do. I don't think. Well, we Rather could. Not. Do, Sorry. Um, what you were going to. No, no, no. That's for next well, year. We'll try that next year. There, there will be yes. one next year anyway. There will be a something. There will be, there'll be well, if every, all being well and all the. But we as I put him on your own, put him do on your own. I can't blame. But then he blew the nessa and could be your head back on. Then he could be your weir. If the Lord and can hard left in person, but he gave the reading of what evangelist. My banker, a scholar with a rare material, went to Cadernhai. He put no name, but me and Barat. He he helped me. He can now er go to Gareth. And of course, then he didn't hustle shoes. If he Hyd nhw edamser yma flwyddyn nesaf wedyn, dan ni wedi gweld yr hyn o bryd gyda gwaith calad Jane a Steve, a Steve Jacobs ac Jane y Gethain 
yn fan hyn, nhw wedi sydd i bod y prif bobl i redeg hwn a fysyn ni licio wirioneddol roi diolch iddyn nhw a roi diolch i jen am rydyd diolchiadau yn ôl y traddodiad. Ond yn sicr mae tri person yna wedi wneud pethau redeg yn wych dros y pedwar diwrnod yma. Chi blwydd yn esa, cybeithio, bangor, blendid neu i gyfan gwbl ar lain. Um, a dy hyn ni, mae yna dren yn bangor, mae yna lain i gyrraedd yna, mae yna mi oedd i gynagos i bob man i bawb. A mi fawn bod braf i symud y gwmpas chydig bach, oherwydd mae yna lot o ffermwyr ac yn hyrchwyr bwyd, ac yn y blaen i fyny yn y gogledd y llewyn na dwyrain Cymru sydd falla angen rhan i dipyn o be maen nhw wneud hefyd um, efo, efo gweddill y byd. Felly dyna dyr, dyr gobaith. Os ydych chi yn barod i gefnogi fo, a dyna byd fydd yn bwysig. Dyna di cychwyn y drafod efo'n hyn, mae yna bethau o'n email sy'n i wedi cael amser i... Um, I mi ganu, ond i uh, gael cwestiynau, ond dwi'n meddwl be fawr rhaid ni wneud ydy fel mae Steve wedi doed cynt bod ni'n gadael cyfle i chi unrhyw gwestiynau pellach sy'n gynnwch chi i siaradwyr neu i'r gynhadledd, i'r crwb lliwio sydd yn trefnu bethau o un blwydd i'n neud llall. Gyrrwch nhw i mewn i ni trwy'r safle we, um, info at wrffc, bynnag, mae'r safle we, a, a mi nhw chi gael ateb um, yn o'r handi dwi'n gobeithio. Wedi'n parhau'r drafodaeth ac parhau'r gymuned o eleni trwy'r blwydd yn esa ac falla fi yna gyfle sy'n dwi'n pethau mynd yn iawn ni'n gael rhywbeth yn y gwanwyn hefyd er mwyn ail godi uh, yn y sbryd ni ac yn, ac yn gymuned ni pan fydd y dyddiad mestyn a fydd y tywydd yn brafiach a falla fi'n pethau'n haws. A wedi'n diolch o fawr iawn i chi gyd ac dwi'n meddwl Jen, ti eisiau deud gair uh, I can't think what it would Fredon. be. Uh, do you, but Stephen, do you want to say something? You, I think you should have a last word. Yes. Yeah. Is that wise? <laughs> uh, thank you to Jane and Jane, because without Jane Powell and Jane Ricketts Hine, uh, this wouldn't be happening. And I, I want to thank all the contributors. It was said a couple of times this week from people who are doing talks. Before you start spending money, look at around you, talk to the community and find out what needs to be done. One of the biggest steps forward that I've made this year is getting involved in deliberative democracy, asking others and listening to what they have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. And I think at that point, we need to bring, unless, yes, no, I think we need to bring this year's conference to uh, a, a final close with looking forward very much to next year, starting the next one off in 2021.